Hey, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is Donna from Tarot. Tarot on a quick read for you. We're going to go over your money, your career, your love life, do a general spread at the end. We're going to do six cards, Donna's Destiny, and then we'll do the all signs. If you're doing an Aries, if you're doing the Taurus, if you're doing a Gemini. If any card repeats, I'll point that out in case that's something you need to hear. If any sign repeats, I'll point that out in case that's confirmation of somebody you came here to hear about. If you like it, if it resonates, feel free to hit the like button, comment, share, whatever makes you happy. There's a, I think there's a super thanks, but I don't, whatever. Um, so... I did a pre-shop. Oh, I'll show you, by the way, I'll show you the decks that I use in case you want to purchase one for yourself or for somebody else as a gift. Um, I did a pre-shuffle with this deck. This is the Transient Light Tarot. Um, and when I first did it, I had just I just took the, the cards out of the box after I had shuffled and put them away. Didn't even do another shuffle. I just took them out and and I got the, uh, the Apprentice of Coins on the bottom and I forget what the other cards were, but it was all... It was all pentacles, basically, cons or pentacles, um, and swords. So it's like mental, like thinking and strategizing and thinking about something. And then cons are like money. So it's almost like your focus is on, in that spread, is on money. So I did it again. I was like, well, there was no cups and no wands. There was no passion and no emotion. So I just gathered them up, shuffled again, like really, really, really good and then put the cards down. So I kind of don't want to do it all over again because, you know, the, the 10 of cups on the bottom of the deck, but look, look how it looks like present. So once again, it's all about worth and value in something. Like, you know, pentacles are money. So I'll just, I'll just break this down the best I can. So crown of um, wands, crown of wands is like king of wands. Um, eight of vessels, eight of cups, five of wands, um, seven of coins, seven of pentacles, six of coins, six of pentacles. So let me do it so you can see them. So the, as best I can see, um, I don't know if a lot of you all found, find yourself in a situation which I want to say it's probably in the past. Maybe it's in the past. Maybe it's, it's in the present. I don't know. Um, you had a lot of passion for somebody. Um, there was a walking away, possibly due to competition, and now you're just kind of looking at things as, what did I get out of it? And there's a, an attempt to make things right. Um, whatever happened, if, if this is a love thing, if there's a love situation going on, um, this is where it's headed, but I want to see more about it. Um, because I feel like your all's focus isn't on, but look at my jacket keeps, this pullover keeps moving the cards around and that's kind of irritating, but, um, let's do your, let's just go right into your money spread because I have a feeling that like this, there's a lot more to this than it's a lot more complicated because, and I always feel like this is kind of in the past and it's not even your focus right now. That's not even on your radar right now. So let's, let's go into the good stuff, which is your money because, I have a feeling that's where your focus is right now because it, it just doesn't, it's not screaming love right now. All right, so we're going to use, damn it, we're going to use this deck that I didn't even have these ready. Um, The Witch's Tarot. Okay, so Witch's Tarot, this one, for the money portion, if I can freaking get it out of the box. And what ended up on the bottom of the deck? Uh, Queen of Swords. Alright. No, we're not doing it like that. We're definitely not doing it like that. What, um... Okay. Magician. Three of Pentacles. Temperance. Alright, but I'm going to do a, an actual shuffle here. So what's going on with your money? What is happening with your financial situation? I mean, I'm I'm not daft. I know exactly what in general is happening all over the world right now. So, but let's see what's going on with you. This, I remember this was one of the cards that came up in that first pre-shuffle. And this is the Four of Swords. Okay, so this is like taking a break or taking a step back. If 
financially. Um, and five of, look at this. So five of wands comes out twice. Okay, so that's, in this case, um, it's almost like fighting for it. Like you're fighting for your money maybe. There's a lot of competition for it. Um, and look at this. Five of Wands and Five of Swords. So you're definitely, it is a situation in which you are competing or fighting for money in some way, shape, or form. Um, what is, okay, before I talk about that. Yeah, that's still not making sense. All right, I'm going to come back to that one. I mean, there's hope. Um, and there's Page of Swords. So on the bottom... You're losing sleep over some kind of financial situation. Um, I don't know your specific situation, but I know what's going on in general in the world. So what is the star? It is, because the first time I got the, uh, the Knight of Wands, and I'm like, what? All right, so I'm not, all right, let's just take a good look at it then. So if there's some kind of financial situation um, that you're needing to heal from, because that may be what this is, four of swords and the star could be healing from a financial situation. Um, I don't know if you got yourself into a bind in some way or I don't even know. Like for some of you, it could be overextended yourself in some way. That's a definite given what's going on in the world. Um, and you're just trying to heal that. So you may be looking into what you can do. And I swear to God, look, if you look, he's not looking back over his shoulder. He's looking right at, like, he's looking right at the person looking at the card. So it's, I always feel like, look at this. It's almost like he's like, I will cut you. So... Given that you have the Five of Wands and the Five of Swords, and this guy looking like, you know, I will cut you. Um, I don't know. Are you all, you're just, it's like so much competition or you're having to fight for what you need. And it's causing you to, to stress out and worry. So let's do your career, because maybe it has something to do with that. That would be a competition kind of thing, right? And where do you get your money from? Usually your career and your job. All right, so let's... If you do not have a job or career, then this part will be your public reputation. So let's see, using the Your Dream deck. So this deck, what ended up on the bottom? Oof. <laughs> so this has to do with feeling poor, feeling left out in the cold, but if it's your if it's your career reading, does that mean that A, you feel like you're not making enough money, or B, you're left out in some way, like if there was, if you went up for some kind of um, position, promotion or something, and you didn't get it, you feel like you were left out? Oh, here we go with this shit. Ah, oh, I hate having to pick up cards. So, the sun, that is good, that's a card that you want to see. Um, the star, again. That's an Aquarius card. Oh, what was the other one? Um, the Four of Swords is a Libra card. And High Priestess. Okay, so let's... All right, so let's see. It could be a situation in which you went up for something, you applied for something, and you didn't get what you applied for. There is that. Now, if you are unemployed and you applied for um, unemployment payment, you know, tried to get unemployment, you got turned down, that could explain that. You might find yourself competing with other people to get unemployment, but, um, you know, to get paid. But if you're in a job, you may have tried to get some type of position and you may not have gotten it. So let's see, working together, there's something's got you stressed out, it's big changes, 
big changes have you stressed out? And did I see the full card? No. All right, so. Holy crap, am I really reversing? Okay, I'm gonna take it like it is. I'm gonna take it like, but I'm gonna make sure I fix it. So, it's like something was quickly, something reversed direction very quickly so something was happening very quickly and then it reversed direction so i don't know if before i say that yeah you so career-wise you you were at a crossroads trying to decide what to do either you tried to go for a different job or a different position you weren't decide, sure what to do, or if you if you lost your job, because there is that possibility, you know, if you lost your job, um, then it was a, a situation in which you tried to um, get something else, and you quickly went, and it something happened too fast. Um, but you, this almost looks like I hate this. Oh my god. Okay, so there are. I mean, the re, the the reality of it. I can't even talk now. The reality of the situation is there are a lot of people out there that may have lost a job. And so now you're asking, you know, what do I do? How do I, what, what, you know, you're either looking for something else. You're asking for, you know, is there something else out there? Um, what, what are my options? Um, and this is like... I only see this as you chasing, like, quickly running to, like, find out what you can find out as quickly as you can, um, and it's stressing you out. I'm not say, I'm not trying to say, you know, everybody's going to lose their job, but look at this. The big changes, right? Um, and then this, in this case, it's very, things kind of are a little bit risky. Like, you're willing to take a risk, but you're, you're feeling like it is kind of a risk, too. You're feeling optimistic at the same time, but you're also stressing out. So you're stressing out and you're optimistic. Um, <sighs> so how is this going to play out in the short term? Well, you're still having to make a decision. Look at that. You got the two of wands and the two of swords. Oh my God. All right, so you, you, you're having a hard time deciding what to do. All right, so let's look at your love situation, even though I feel like that's not really your focus right now. But let's see. We are going to use the Tattoo Tarot. So this deck for the love portion. Okay. I don't know if things are at a standstill. You're feeling stuck. There's no movement. You feel like there's nothing you can do. You may be feeling like you're in some way, shape, or form left out in the cold. Or you're just not you. You're not getting anything out of um, the whole love situation. You're more for, focused on making money. Wow. All right. <clears throat> And I just heard in my head, fuck love. <laughs> so some of you all may be feeling like, fuck love. <laughs> you don't have time for that shit right now? Maybe? I don't know. Other things to be concerned about? Look, this, but... So, somebody may want to make things right. I'm just putting it out there. Um, and this is a, um, a Taurus card, too. <laughs> so masculine energy um and this regardless of gender this is um because it, it comes out as a king it comes out as masculine energy but king of wands is like the king of sex or the you know the the hot guy kind of thing you know regardless of gender um and look at this player the king of sex player um, so there's just this player energy here. Um, three of pentacles. That's 
come out twice now. Um, that is a Capricorn card. Two, three, and four of pentacles is Capricorn. Um, I should, you know what? I should do a, a, I should do a couple of videos on the basics of tarot, just like so people can understand like what's what and why these cards, you know, apply. You know, maybe I should do that. Queen of Wands. Oh, look at that. So, I mean, whatever kind of love situation there is or was, I mean, there's a lot of passion, but is there like a third influence or? Feel like there's a third person involved maybe not a romantic situation but um it could be just somebody that like puts their two cents in or it could be a, a situation in which you know you or the other person either does or did always involve other people's opinions like you know just asking or, or telling too much um when you open it up to friends and family members opinions that can that can muddy things up and that can, you're always going to hear there's always going to be somebody that says well i can't believe they said or did that how why would you put up with that just so you know i'm not giving you i'm not trying to give you a um a lecture but just so you're aware of that and the same for like anybody you deal with if they are asking other like telling other people stuff like well he or she did this or that, making you look like the bad guy, bad girl, whatever. I mean, that's not right. So it could be a case of that. I mean, it may not be a, um, although the, the Knight of Wands is here, but um, I mean, it may not be that. And then to get the Magician though. <laughs> and the Wheel of Fortune. Um, at the very least, you might be dealing with somebody who's very stubborn. So we'll put that out there. All right, so let's do a general spread. What's going to happen, just out of curiosity, if it's a, let's say it's someone, let's say it's a past thing. What's the, what is going to happen with that past thing? Well, things are going to be made right. Yeah. In some way, shape, or form, karma is going to, the, the way, how, how can I put this? The universe has your back. Let's put it that way. So you're not going to get wronged. Um, and I feel like somebody wants to make things right. So maybe patience. It's calling for patience. So you're just going to be patient with that. I mean, so basically, if you're not focused on love and it is something from the past, then yeah, leave it in the past for now. All right, so let's do a general spread and then we'll do, uh, we're gonna do we're gonna wrap this up. Three is the modern witch tarot. Which is this deck, and I apologize, I am so low energy right now. This time change, normally the time change every year does not whip me. But like in the spring, every spring we go through this. Um, in March, every year. And this time it just ugh, it's killing me. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Yeah, this is how I feel right now, actually. This is me right now. <laughs> I'm not an Aries, but, well, in the sidereal I am. Actually, I'm Aries rising in the sidereal, but. All right, so um, let's see what's going on in general. Aries, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Okay. But you know what? You're going to be okay. So, right now you may be finding yourself like holding on to your money, looking at your options, trying to just kind of boss up and be good. Um, and you're, uh, what's the, hold on. Yeah, big, because there's big changes. Now, some of you all, um, I feel like, the, the the terminology sitting pretty is usually well I always because of the word pretty you would think like it's aimed at you know feminines but regardless of gender you're gonna be sitting pretty you're gonna be doing well and you know what the reason 
I say that because I was focused on the Ankh and I said, well, what, what does that symbolize? And I saw the tower, which is big changes again. Um, and that's actually uh, Mars, that's Aries and Scorpio energy. But, and then it draw, drew my attention to the fact that this person is sitting and reminded me of what's on the bottom of the deck. So you're gonna be fine. If you're worried about money, you're gonna be okay. You may feel like right now things are a burden, and I get it, um, but everything is gonna work out in your favor. Um, and as far as financially, you're gonna be good. I mean, you get the King of Pentacles on the bottom telling you everything's gonna be all right. So if you're stressing about that, and I think you are, it's gonna be fine. So, hang you i guess the temperance card popping out telling me to tell you to, to just try to i know telling an aries to be patient right but just try your best to be patient everything's gonna be okay um so let's do i don't even want to do these for this right now because i just don't feel like you're i don't feel like you're um focused on love right now i just don't i mean i guess eh, i'll do one i'll do one um or i guess two um I may love to shop, but I'm not buying your bullshit. Okay, so that might be how you feel about somebody from the past. I'm gracing you with my presence. Okay, see, that's why I didn't even want to pull those, because it just didn't feel like it was applying. All right, so let's do six cards, Donna's Destiny, and then we'll do the all signs. I am whooped. I almost want to, don't even want to do two more readings tonight. I have no energy. I haven't responded to any of the, the most recent comments on the channel. I just, I don't have it in me. I don't. I did some cleaning today and that was it, man. I was, I work four tens and have three days off and that, and today's my first day off and no energy. Um, I am going to read them this way. It's this time. Um, a new love is coming very soon. It says addictions are affecting your relationship, your relationship, but it's upside down. So maybe in the past addictions were, re were affecting uh, make them put in more effort is upright. They are in the closet is also upright. You need rest. Take a break is reversed. Okay. Um, I guess not. And then, oh, and then finally focus on self love at this time here. Let me just hold this up for whoever needs to see it. <laughs> Delight is not that good in this direction. <laughs> All right, so, and then they want you to make the first move is sideways. All right, so if you are dealing with an Aries, a fellow Aries, hmm, well, somebody is kind of cold and chilly and analytical, unless it's just you going, I know what I know, I'm good, I don't, I don't give a damn. So that could be that too. If that's, a, if that's, um, referencing somebody that you were thinking of they're actually really smart and, and calculating they're smart and calculating but un, kind of unemotional all right so if you're dealing with a fellow aries um <laughs> they see you as their wish and they're asking for advice they want advice they want to work together with you um taurus wants to commit to you and they want to fight off competition gemini um they want a second chance and they want to heal things. Cancer wants to move on and focus on their money. Leo is a player and kind of reckless. Uh, Virgo it wants to make things right and they want to offer you love. Libra is horny and they're going to come rushing in because that's they want the, the P or the D. Um, if you are dealing with a Scorpio, um, they feel like it's a disaster and they're keeping quiet. Sagittarius, um, you make them very happy and they're going to reach out to you. They want to talk to you. Uh, Capricorn um, just wants to be single and, and they're, they're trying to decide what, like, they want to, they're trying to decide what direction to go in. Are they thinking about moving? No, they're stuck. They don't know what to do. They're stuck. Um, if you are dealing with an Aquarius, ugh, they're all about sex. <laughs> it's just, it's all it is. They're, they're, and they've, I feel like they've always been that way. Like, that's always been their thing. And Pisces is focusing on work, but they want to grow with you. They may want to have children with you. And whoever you're dealing with, um, they, do they see you as just an option? 
Maybe they feel it. They might feel like things are done. Um, here they are looking at their options. They may not be the most uh, realistic in love either. All right, Aries, thank you. Love you. And I will see you all in the next one.